What's going on YouTube and welcome to episode 5 of Access All Areas. Alright guys, so today's episode is all about men's physique abs. Everyone wants them, everyone loves them, the ladies love them, but how important are they for a show? And how do you build them? So let's talk about just how important they are for a show. You need total proportions. You can't just turn up with abs and then think that that's what's going to get you there. But you need to have a good base to be able to show off the abs when you cut down to a certain body fat. So you always want the proportions, low body fat, and not too blocky, but you want nice symmetrical abs, um, ones that you know pop out a little bit. So today's session, I'm going to go through what I've been doing for my ab workout. Now, truth be told, I haven't actually been able to train abs for about three years properly because I always get cramped. Um, so this warm up, which was prescribed by Scott, helps me to stretch everything and be able to work my abs properly. So that's what we're gonna do first. All right, so as you can see here, I start off with hanging leg raises. This is to activate the hip flexors. Um, and I just do maybe two, three sets of 10. Then I do side planks to activate the TVA, transverse abdominis, for you that don't know. And then I'll lie on my back and I'll do the cycling ab movement, but very short range. Um, this also activates lower abs. And then I will finish off with the cat stretch. And that just loosens everything up so I don't get cramp in my abs. All right, so now we move on to the next exercise after the stretches, which are just normal crunches. Yeah. I do about maybe two, three sets of 15 to 20, just as kind of a warm up, make sure the cramp doesn't come back um, before moving on to full hanging knee raises and leg raises, two sets of 10 superseted with each other. Um, that's just to activate full core um, and lower abs. So as you saw on that, I'm not just dropping my knees and then crunching up. I'm really stretching, getting a full stretch of the abs and then crunching all the way up with the abs. A lot of the time you can just engage the hip flexors, which is pretty pointless if you're trying to work the abs. And also from a society that sits down pretty much all the time, you've already got tight hip flexors, so why do you want to make them tighter? Then after that, I'll take about two minutes rest and then I'll move to the cables. So what I try to target with the cables are front on and then sides. So you want front of the abs and then the obliques. So you want the, the cuts coming across. Um, so I'll start with normal cable crunches. And you'll see, if you haven't seen my previous video where I show how to do this properly, um, it's essential that you crunch from the abs and not pull from the hip flexors. So as you can see when I'm doing it here, then the next exercise, I then take it to one side. So I'm holding it in one arm, but your arm must stay still. It has to stay still. You can't jerk it forward. It needs to be set in one place and then crunch across, as you can see in the video. All right, guys, so that's it. That's what I do for my abs. Um, some people might say it's a bit short. Some people might say it's not enough. I have a history of working my abs a lot. I did it almost every day with heavy cable crunches for a very long time. So I personally don't want them to be too blocky. I just need to work them to keep them, make sure they're always engaged. You can add two or three more exercises to this. This workout will probably take me about what, 20 minutes. So add a couple more exercises if you feel you need to. Um, check back on the channel for more tutorials and more ab, work, ab exercises that you can add to it but for now 
don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share, and until next time, peace.